Hi and welcome to Unidentified Random Videos. In this video we're going to show you an anti-theft device I bought for my Toyota Tundra in the installation process. It's called Cat Shield or Cat Security and Cap City Muffler seems to be the parent owner. I'll leave links in the description so you can see if they sell one for your vehicle. The shield I ordered came in two boxes. Here's the main shield which is made of aluminum and I guess weighs six or seven pounds. It comes with these two side covers for the main plate as well. The Tundras have four catalytic converters and this back piece to help protect the rear ones is optional to purchase. The kit includes all the hardware you'll need and the directions are pretty easy to follow overall. The first thing we did was attach the side plates to the main plate. We use Loctite on the bolts which is included in the hardware. We attached the bolts to the impact before snugging them down with the socket. Once that was done, we attached the whole plate to the bottom of the truck but didn't tighten it down completely. We wanted to make sure the fit was right and we also had to mark our spots on the frame where we would have to drill some holes for some rivets. There are four rivets used for installation. I didn't really understand rivets, but after seeing them installed, it made more sense. It's easier to install them if you have a rivet tool, but if you do not, they do provide an alternate way to get the job done. So this rivet nut will go into the holes you drilled out in the frame and provide extra places on the frame to be able to bolt the cat shield to. For the Tundra, it required four rivets. Some existing holes in the front cross member are going to be used. You just have to make them wider so the rivet nut fits in there. You will have to drill two new holes for the rivets in the rear cross member. For the rears, we started with a smaller drill bit to get the hole started and then moved to a larger one to get the size correct. This is what the alternate rivet installation method looks like. Now it's ready to have bolts screwed into it. We then attached the plate to the bottom of the truck with the impact and finished with the socket to make sure they were on there tight enough. After installing the main plate, the instructions say to put the rear cat covers on. Again, this rear piece is optional, but given the Tundra has four catalytic converters, if you're going to go through the trouble of trying to protect them, you might as well protect all of them in my opinion. Installing this rear piece with the main cover already attached to the truck was a bit challenging. There are a lot of holes you have to line up and access to the backside was limited due to the design. We figured it might be easier to install the whole thing off the truck and then bolt it all on at the same time, but we were following directions. And this is what it looks like when you're done. Overall, it was fairly simple and I think it provides great protection against catalytic converter theft. A thief can still cut the back portion of the rear cats, but they're not gonna be able to cut the fronts due to lack of access. This back portion does bend a little bit, but I think it'd be a lot of work to break it off. Now, a thief can still get all of them if they really want to, but it's gonna take a lot more time and effort. To me, this is a great deterrent. And I figure a thief will move on to the next vehicle if they get under there and see this. There's plenty of other vehicles out there that are way easier targets and will provide no resistance. Bottom line, do I sleep better knowing this is under my truck? Yes. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think or what questions you have. Also like the video, it helps other people see it and it might help them out if they're looking for something like this. Thanks for watching Unidentified Random Videos and we'll see you next time with something random.